Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Jordan from Territory Academy. Right now, we are going to be solving this question together. For this lesson, we will mainly be using two substitutions. One to get rid of the cube root of 3, the other one possibly to try and deal with the cube root of 2. All right, And we will also be employing a few algebraic identities, mainly specific cubic ones. All right. So let's go ahead with the question. Now, seeing as we have the numbers 4, 2, 3, and 9, right, suitable substitutions could possibly be if we let x equals to the cube root of 3, if we let y equals to the cube root of, say, 2. All right? In which case, your expression can now be written as, this would just be x multiplied by now, if you look at each term individually, my numerator will be the cube root of 4, but y over here is the cube root of 2. Therefore, this will be re represented by y squared. And now we can take a look at our denominator. Cube root of 9 is effectively just the square of cube root of 3. Therefore, this will give us x squared. Similarly, cube root of 2 just nice will be equal to y, where my denominator is still x squared. Whereas for my last one, the cube root of 1 is just going to be 1 over x squared again. Okay, not forgetting that these are all raised to the power of negative 1, right? Which we will deal with shortly, but for now, let us concentrate on this expression within the brackets. So since everything is of the same denominator x squared, we can now combine all my numerators in this manner. So now is when we can start talking about negative 1. Now, any fraction, or any expression rather, taken to the power of negative 1 is essentially saying that we just need to take the reciprocal of this, right? Which means we are essentially flipping the fraction around in this manner, right? So therefore, I can now multiply x towards the top to give us x cubed over x, uh, y squared minus y plus 1. Now, arriving at x cubed is huge for us because considering our initial substitution, x cubed will give us a nice whole number of 3. Okay, which begs the question, right? Is it possible to do the same with this expression of y? We have to start thinking about how we can possibly introduce a y cubed into the equation. Right? Which is great because if you recall one of the cubic identities, right, of the form a cubed plus b cubed, this can be written of the form a plus b multiplied by a squared minus ab plus b squared over here. And notice that your denominator here looks really similar to the form as stated over here. So if this is of the form y squared minus y plus 1, all that is missing is effectively a y plus 1, such that instead of a cubed plus b cubed, we will obtain y cubed plus 1. So this is what we're going to try and achieve in this fraction. So all you need to do is, in fact, introduce a y plus 1 here, such that my denominator would now be equivalent to y cubed plus 1. So given that originally we let x cubed be cube root of 3, this would be y plus 1. And for our denominator, since we let y be the cube root of 2, y cubed would just be 2 plus 1. So notice that 3 and 2 plus 1 have now the same value, and therefore this would just be equivalent to y plus 1, and therefore we substitute back its original value, and hence this will be my final answer. So main things to take note of for this question is that if you try to evaluate with these numbers straight up, it's going to be quite difficult and tedious, not to mention a very high tendency for us to make certain careless mistakes here and there. So to eliminate those, we want to try and make some clever substitutions here with the cube root of 3 and the cube root of 2, such that everything now becomes in terms of x and y. Recognize that anything taken to the power of negative 1 is effectively taking the reciprocal of itself. And afterwards, making a cube of x as well as a cube of y our end goal we'll have to recall this cubic identity over here, 
All right. And therefore, that's how we solve this question over here. We have completed this lesson. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.